Next, we're going to be calculate eBay selling price. This is what does your repricing. Okay. You do not have to worry about messing with the formula you see here in the box. Buy it now price formula. You don't have to mess with that. What you're going to do is click switch to wizard view and you'll enter values here that make sense for you. Vendor tax. This is how much do you want to account for the possibility of having to pay sales tax when you purchase the items. Sales tax ranges from five to 9% usually in most states. So you can enter a number that you're comfortable with here. The margin percentage. This is what do you want your profit margin to be? What do you want the amount of profit that you want to take home? What do you want that to be? Uh, so you can enter a profit margin here. For example, 5% fixed margin dollars means this is additional money in addition to the margin percentage that you use that you want to bring home. So let's just say for every single item, in addition to my 5%, I also want an extra dollar. Or if I want to work in dollar amounts and I want to say, I don't want a profit margin percentage, but I'd rather say I want at least $10 profit per item. You can do a fixed margin of 10. Um, so you can work with these either or, or a combination of the two. There will be more in-depth uh, videos on, you know, your formulas and things like that coming soon. So you can enter um, the amount here you want for fixed margin. If you don't want anything, you can enter zero or leave it blank. You also can do negative numbers if you, you know, for whatever reason, some people have a need to do that, but it does allow for negative numbers. So the minimum margin, this is in the event that you have a cheaper item selling. For example, if you have a $100 item listed and you're collecting a 5% profit margin, you're expecting to bring home $5 profit. However, if you listed a $10 item and you had a 5% margin, you would not be expecting 5%. 5% 5 of 10 is not $5. So this minimum margin helps you with those cheaper items. So it would be something like if uh, the item is cheaper, then although I have my profit set to give me 5%, I want to at least bring home a minimum of $3 per item or $2, $1, whatever it is, you can enter in the number that you're comfortable with. PayPal fees, most people have PayPal fees of 2.9% and there's a 30 cents PayPal transaction fee. eBay fees are either nine or 10%, nine if you have a store, 10 if you don't. Include supplier shipping and calculations. This should be checked to yes if the supplier has shipping that is known before you check your item out um, then skew grid will add that shipping in so that you still get your desired profit if the shipping is not known until checkout as in the case with amazon skew grid cannot factor in the shipping because the shipping amount is unknown but in the cases where suppliers do have known shipping like walmart skew grid can calculate that for you so you can choose yes or no here as to whether or not you want to include the supplier shipping and calculations. The next op option is estimate final price. You can use this button. You can enter in a starting price for an item, let's say $100 to make things even and click OK. Then SKU grid will tell you based on this formula that you set here, it would price your item at $129.06 to yield you a profit with all fees and vendor tax included to yield you a profit of approximately 5%. So this is how that works. And you can just use that to make sure that the formula is functioning the way that you want.